Or we ran out of space. But add to this the fact that the word is Theos and Theos is God. This is also why the prophet said the child's name will be called the mighty God. Jesus taught the mysterious name of God his father and he taught that he and his father are one. Meaning he is the father which is why the prophet said the child's name will be called the everlasting father. We see, with all this, we see that this God and Jesus and Jesus and God existence is a simultaneously existence. This is how God was on his throne for Jesus to pray to him and yet be in Jesus to, by his own self, reconcile the world back to himself. We see that the Theos... God, Word of God, existed in the beginning with God, Elohim, and Theos is Elohim, and Elohim is Yahweh. Other than saying, my Father is in me, he who has seen me has seen the Father, and my Father and I are one. Jesus himself never said, I am God. This is because him being the Son of God and God with man on earth by way of him is a revelation that a person had to come to on their own. And that person will open their mouth and call him Lord. To do this will both prove and show that you have truly set your heart and not your mind to seek God and His truth and His ways and His righteousness. You see, God is the most holiest thing in all of existence, both spiritual and physical. So God can swell by nothing but himself. God can pray to no one but himself. God does all things by no thing but his own self. And this is because there is nothing or no one greater and holier than God Yahweh alone. Don't forget. Don't ever forget, we are trying to get to God, and all of God is God. Meaning, if you can just find and grab hold to a piece of God, be it the Word of God, or the Spirit of God, or the righteousness of God, or the works of God, if you can just but find and grab hold to a piece of God, it will bring you to God. But, you have to choose to follow and serve under the revelation that God is your Father. If so be that you walk in the Spirit of God, and so you are not a servant, but an obedient child of the Father. From outcast to servant. From servant to son. One step at a time. This is our hope. This is our hope. Now, with all this, all that has been said, I hope by some way I have helped you to understand that Jesus is both the Son of God and God. Jesus is the Father. Jesus is the Son. Jesus is the Word of God and yet Jesus is God. God is supreme and Jesus is of the supreme. I mean, this is just something that you have to catch. You have to catch it on your own. If you, if you didn't understand what I said, go back and listen to the message again. But you have to catch this on your own, okay? Jesus is God. God is God. Jesus is both. God is both. They are one. Um, if you don't catch this message, I'm going to do another show called Islam 101 where I'm going to deal with uh, Sarai, I think it's chapter, I forgot the chapter, but the show is going to be called um, The Trinity.
And so I'm going to deal with the Trinity on that show, and it's going to be directed specifically to my Islamic friends. But anyway, closing out this show, I hope by some way I've helped you to understand who Jesus really is. And my Islamic friends, I would like for y'all to go back and look at some of my other shows because... This is the only way I can feel I can answer some of the questions y'all have because y'all ask some questions that need answering because I, I've read the Quran and I know how it's stated in your book. So when you ask the question, I understand that you're asking the question from a learn from a teaching that is not how we teach it. It says it's of us, but that's not how we teach that. And your questions are based upon that line of something that we don't teach. So... I hope y'all go back and watch some other shows. With that being said, if this show has moved you and you want to say that Jesus, I want to make you Lord and God, I want you to be my father, then will you please bow your head and pray with me? And if you are already in the family of Christ, can you bow your head and pray with us as we welcome into this family of ours these new souls and let the angels rejoice and let God say thank you forevermore unto us. Bow your heads, please. Lord God, I come before you today as a sinner. I humbly ask you to forgive me of my sins. Look upon me and have mercy upon me. Jesus, this day I accept your works. I accept you into my life. I accept your blood as my sacrifice. Come into my heart and create in me a new being. Make me new. Father, accept me this day. And forgive me of all my sins. As I give you glory. In the name of the Son, Jesus, I pray. Amen. And amen. Now, if you've prayed that prayer with me, then I truly hope that you have, I truly know that you have become part of this blessed family of God. And it behooves us to accomplish and fulfill our righteousness. Find a church and get baptized and find a Bible and stay in it and get into a Bible preaching church. If you cannot go to a church to get baptized because things prevent you from doing that, then Go into the bathroom, fill it up, with, fill your tub up with water, close the door, bless the water in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and then dunk yourself. Be baptized. Rise up anew. And with that being said, if you stayed to me to this point, I want to let you know something as an Islamic person. I will be dealing with the Trinity on one of my next shows because... I want to deal with the fact of, is there a trinity, and do we teach the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the Father? But until then, and until the next time I see you on my show, your moment for biblical truth, I am Brother Esquire telling you, as always, may our Father in heaven bless you. May Jesus come upon you and bless you and give you all peace and comfort. May the Holy Spirit come upon you and move you in the works of God. And as Brother B said, may this shalom peace be unto you and upon you and fall and rapture you. I am Brother Esquire saying, bless you. Good night. <laughs>